What's going on, guys? I go by Tox. I'm a co-founder of Open Spaces Agency. Um, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys uh, just how to install uh, the Plain Jane theme into your Shopify account or store. Um, if you, you know, you're not very technical, you don't even want to do this, like you don't care to even learn, you know, you can hit us up. If you check your order confirmation email, there's um, a link there we can request for us to help install your theme. Um, there is a $35 fee though, if, if we do that, um, or you can watch this video and, uh, try and figure out by yourself. Um, it's not difficult at all. So, uh, we'll just get straight into it. Um, first off, if, you know, we're looking at the download screen, um, if you've downloaded the theme, great. If you haven't do it, um, and make sure when you download that you do it from a PC or a laptop. Do not use a phone. Do not use a tablet. Um, it's very inconvenient to try and upload a theme to Shopify that way. It's much better if you use just a regular computer. Because um, if you use a PC or if you use a uh, tablet or phone, um, you know more than likely you're going to run out of downloads. And then when you get to the, to the PC, you're going to have no downloads left. Um, so yeah. Um, so let's get straight into it. So once you download, you'll have your folder down here. I'm just going to click show in folder here. And show this too big. But yeah, you can see it here. Um, let me delete this folder so I can really show you guys. So once you download the theme, you're going to get a file that says open spaces, plain Jane. I only have this one over here because I, you know, I have a duplicate file already. But um, you're going to see this right here. And what you want to do is you want to extract this. Um, it's super simple. You're just going to right click, extract all. You're going to have a little box pop up right here. Just hit extract. And it's going to make a folder for you. If you're on a Mac, it's super simple. All you have to do is double click. You don't have to do the right click extract thing. Uh, for all Macs, all you have to do is double click and it'll automatically um, make the folder for you. So as you can see, we have like another folder that says Open Spaces, Plain Jane, uh, one, the same name. And what you're going to want to do is just go in here and then go into this Open Spaces theme. And this is the theme that you want to upload. OK, uh, for some reason, a lot of you guys or a lot of people in general, you guys upload this initial um, its initial zip file, the first one. And that's wrong. If you do this, you're going to get an error. It doesn't mean you were scammed. You just did it wrong. And if you come to the Discord saying that, oh, the theme's not working, and we see you take a screenshot of your page, and it, we see it's this error, we're all going to laugh at you <laughs> for not following directions or reading. All right. So, um, yeah. So you want to have this folder open, right? So let's go to our, our Shopify store now. Okay. So here's our Shopify store. Um, to get to the place to upload a theme, you're going to want to go to online store. Right here, then click themes. All right. So then next, you want to click add a theme, do upload zip file, and then we're going to open up that same file. So again, we'll go through this again, just so you know. You're going to click the new folder that we generated, that we extracted. So you can just double click this, double click open spaces theme, and then you're going to either just going to drag this over. Right. And that's it. Upload file. Just wait. And there you go. You have plain Jane light. Uh, latest version is 1.4.1 as of this recording. Um, so now let's get into like just the just the general setup. All right, just the general setup. Um, so next, what you're going to do is if you want to set up your lookbook page, because our theme comes with a really nice lookbook page, to set that up, you need to go to your pages. <clears throat> and I already have a lookbook page here, but I'll just make another one so you guys can see. You're going to want to hit add a page. I'm going to call this lookbook or archives or whatever you want to call it. I'll put look, look, uh, look, book, and then you're going to want, so right here where it says theme template, right? You're going to want to click this drop down and hit look book. And that's it. 
you hit save. I'm not going to do it because I already have a page like that, but that's all you have to do. Next, if you want to show up in your main menu on your store, I'm just going to leave the page. You need to come to the navigation. So go to the online store then click navigation here, and then you're going to want to go to your main menu. And you're going to want to add in your lookbook. So right now I have it called archive on the store. So if you look, it's linked to the lookbook page. So that's all you got to do. And you're good to go with the lookbook. Um, the next thing we need to set up super quick is you want to set up your shop menu. So let me give you guys a, a decent example of that. Um, bear with me for a moment. Let's go back to the online store. Let's publish our new version here. Publish. And let's take a look. Take a look, see. All right, cool. We're previewing. Um, let's see. So we go to shop. So right here on the side, right? This is where your shop menu will go. So you can add whatever links here. And I'll show you guys how to set this up so you can get this functionality working. So if we go back to the back end of our Shopify, we're gonna go to navigation and we're gonna create a new menu, all right? And this menu, it has to be called shop menu just like that shop menu make sure you see shop menu here this handle section this is super important otherwise it won't work and then now you can add whatever link that you want um if you want to add uh, maybe let's do t's or something or i don't even have those set up we can do all items right and then we can to just link it to all collections or no, let's do, let's think it's all products like this. Yeah. So I'm gonna save it just like that. And if you hit save here, then if you go to the store again and then refresh, first to preview, now you have a pop-up here so that's basically it guys um make sure you set up that local page and you set up this shop menu here otherwise you're gonna be lost in the sauce um you're gonna be in the discord asking questions um and you don't want people to laugh at you so follow directions um but all jokes aside if you guys have any uh comments questions or anything just leave them in the comments below this video um again if you have plain jane light and you're not in the discord i don't know what you're doing you need to get in the discord um it's a real community we have everyone uh, everyone helps each other out if you you know have questions or need help um and we'll be doing a lot of really cool community uh based stuff very soon too that you don't want to miss out on um but that's about it guys um again if you if you really don't want to set this up yourself um you can always just go to your order confirmation in your email and hit the link and, and just request for us to um, help install the theme for you. Um, but that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, peace.